Welcome to Zero to Hero Pro Driving Tips, episode 3. Today we are in beautiful Levifel filming episode about driving up here. We have some guests here that are trying to come to see what we are doing here. But yeah, today we are talking about driving uphill in general. On this video I tried to get as many different kind of uphill gates as I could possibly imagine. So here is a couple of first ones. They, are, they were just straight up, but these turned out to be too easy because of the amazing grip. So basically over there I just drive with the four-wheel drive and it's piece of cake. If this would be a slippery slippery uh, rock it would need different kind of a approach probably with the throttle but that was easy with the grip. But then we have gates like this. This is uh, like step gates and the steps are longer than, than the rig's wheelbase so you have to kind of jump to get the front axle on the top and grip it from there. This is with the normal speed and now we get a slow motion. You can see I'm driving it there, positioning the rig right so the rear axle, both of the rear wheels will hit the rock at the same time. Then I will get a proper jump and the front axle got the grip and I was able to pull it up and you can see here I w I'm positioning the rig so the re both of the rear tires will hit the rock simultaneously and when I when I'm there I just shoot it a little bit jump and get the grip with the front axle from the top and it climbs easily after that and sometimes the gates can be positioned so you cannot get both of the front tires up at first so you will have to drive as far as you can and then try to find the grip with the front dig and try to get at least one tire on top and then it's easier to manage the climb then you can have gates like this when there is a crack and you have to drive via the crack or like this so there is like a hole in the middle of the climb so these can be tricky gates also with the crack gate you simply drive with uh, both of the tires on each side of the crack because you have to have equal grip on both of the tires on front axle and both of the tires on rear axle to manage it and on gates like this I usually push with the rear dig so the front will climb on top and when I'm at, at here I'll just climb it up with the front dig so it's easy like this then we can have gates like this which are really tricky because you cannot get both of the tires gripping so you have to find the grip with the front dig and when you do, you will notice it and push a little bit with the rear dig so it'll climb on top of the rock. Then sometimes there is hardcore gates like this where you have to find the appro perfect approaching line to be able to uh, get the rig on top and then just with the front dig, dig it up. And with that you had to cra crack where you could position the chassis so it would go up. And here is just very steep climb with the obstacle like that. And here I just push a little bit with the rear dig to make it climb over the edge and on top. There was good grip also. Then you can have just too steep rock to climb and you can as you can see I cannot climb it because the rig is already at full suspension and it, it just would 
rollover so I tried with the throttle and from this attempt you can see that if there would have been grip on top it would have gone up but these are very very difficult gates and then there is a possibility that you can use uh, rocks to be able to climb higher and possibly grab grab uh, the tire on top with the front dig but on this case it didn't work so I had to find another line which I found here be, put the tire behind the edge and was able to climb with the front dig and after after I get the other front tire on top I could use four wheel drive try to get it up but uh, as I said these are bonus kind of games so they are really tricky getting out of situations like these are also hard but yeah these were only just few gates that I could think of driving uphill there can be so many variables in these but I hope you got something out of this this video and if you want to see more, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.